Parents of toddlers and babies, listen up because this is for you. It could possibly save your child's life in the event of an accident. Accident. We are talking about car seat safety. Mark McCracken is here with Safer New Mexico Now. Welcome, Mark. Thank well, you thank for coming you. in. All right, ha let's start off by talking about how significant putting your child in a car seat is. It sounds like common sense, but for, unfortunately for a lot of folks, it is not. Yes, it is a huge issue. There's People don't realize that the number one child killer of, of kill, children under 14 years of age is motor vehicle crashes. And so three out of four people are using their car seats incorrectly right now. Wow. And so it's a, a huge lot. issue that people need to get educated and know how to use them correctly. And you brought some examples <clears throat> of some different size car seats that are out there. So let's go through one by one and talk to us about the size requirements. Let's start with this one. Okay, so this first one is an infant seat. This seat is designed for children that are going only rear facing. So most people start off with that seat. That's where they, they leave the hospital with that type of seat. Okay. And so we do find that a lot of people use an infant seat. And um, it, so that's great. They, they, they leave the hospital safe in the, in the car seat mm -hmm. that they're supposed to be in. And then when do you move <clears> to the next one? Well, then the next one is a convertible seat. And this is when it gets a little bit tricky. People leave the hospital in their infant seat, and when they go from the next stage, which would be still continuing to have your child rear facing, because mm -hmm. the recommendation is to have your child up to two years of age. Two and that years. surprised a lot of people that you should have your child rear facing up to two years of age. So, or, a child two years old and <clears throat> under face the back. Right, right. Okay. And so when they leave that infant seat because their child got too big for it, they need to go to a convertible seat and keep that convertible rear facing. So this convertible seat <clears throat> can go rear facing. Correct, okay. yes. So you would want to do that if your child is under the age of two. Now from the convertible seat, what's next? What kind of a seat is this? Okay, this next one we call it a combination seat. Okay. And the reason this is combination is it's a forward facing only seat. Okay. So it'll never go backwards. Okay. This seat, because it's convertible, will go forward facing uh, after the backwards. Uh, you want to use it rear facing to a certain limit and then you can turn it forward facing or they can go to a forward facing after they leave the two years of age uh, or as long as their seat allows okay. for their height and weight. And, and for this <clears> one, what is the weight requirement before you leave it? Weight or age for that matter? Okay, so on this seat, they're generally not going to use a, a forward facing seat until at least after two years of age. Okay. Uh, they're going to continue to use that harness for as long as the seat allows. So this uh, particular harness goes to 50 pounds. 50 so pounds. children can use that harness all the way up to 50 pounds. Then when they reach that, so it's really not based so much on age, on age it's more say, on the yeah. weight of the child. Okay. Some children, uh, they, we generally say don't move a child into a booster seat until they're at least four or five years of age. And the booster seat <clears throat> here is the last one. Right. So after 50 pounds is really when you would want to move your child into the booster. Right. Somewhere, and they're usually 50 pounds around the age of? Right. Somewhere in the range of four to five four years to five. of age. Okay. And 50 pounds is when they're going to move into a booster seat. Uh, some harnessing goes higher than that. So we always say keep children rear facing as long as possible up to two years of age okay. and keep them in a harness as long as possible. That, this is where I'm at first <clears throat> right now. My son just turned four, but he only weighs about 33, 35 pounds. So he's not, I, I don't want to, yeah, he's nowhere near ready for the booster. That's great. Okay, very good. Uh, we do have some information on your screen here over what we just went through. Again, from the infant convertible combination and booster. Uh, the big thing is really that not until your child is two years, keep them facing the back. That's correct. Until they're two years old. All right, Mark, very useful information. Thank you so much for coming in. If you would like to get more information on Safer New Mexico, because you folks hold events for the public out there on education of car seats uh, and everything you need to know regarding that, go to our website, casa.com, and click on Casa Blog. Thanks, Mark. Thank you. All right.